Hi, I'm Stu. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I've got a cool little hack for you, and that is taking a normal video clip, in this case this waterfall, and turning it into a long exposure. It's easy to do, so let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need a clip with movement in it, and preferably movement that's going in the same direction and not rapidly changing. So things like waterfalls, cars in the distance, travelling along a road, stars at night, that kind of thing you can potentially use with this technique. So we take the first clip on our timeline and we want to duplicate it. To do that, I'm just going to do Command D on the keyboard. We're then going to go into Frame and Fit and you're going to want to change the blending to lighten and then come back out Then all you've got to do initially is move the clip a couple of frames along and you'll see we're already getting a sort of blurry effect going on there now once you've got that done you can go into your color and effects go to blur and just apply probably either 5 10 gaussian blur I'll go for 10 and then from there you're going to want to repeat the first step which is duplicate the clip move it along a couple of frames and then just keep doing that duplicate it move it along a couple of frames now i'm going to do let's say one two three four five we'll do another one move it along okay with the last clip we're going to go into our color and effects just switch off the gaussian blur just so there's a bit more detail coming back and we want to change the blend mode so quickly into frame and fit to something like soft light or overlay just reduce the opacity somewhat just to bring back detail in the shadows and all you've got to do is in the front end of the clip go to the last clip line up do an edit get rid of everything at the front so it's all nice and straight and then at the back end of the clip you want to go to the first clip and trim away the excess there as well i'll just highlight those clips there get rid of them like that and there's our overall effect so what we want to do now is we want to export it so into movie and i'll render it into the render movies folder just leaving the sort of basic settings we've got here process that through and once you've got that into the render movies folder you can actually go in and just basically ditch the original clip bring the new clip down now i tend to work to two frames but obviously the longer you stretch out the gap the greater the sort of blending effect actually gets achieved and there you go a simple long exposure technique if you enjoyed the video today don't forget to give it a like and share and i will catch you on the next one see you later